Hi there, this is Pete Howard, director of concert posters for Heritage Auctions and the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Look at this, what a great psychedelic timepiece poster. Don't you just love this? I mean, it's got such great eye appeal. Everybody likes it who sees it. You know, it's not too often you get a poster that kind of everybody likes, but they do on this early spring of 1968 for a pop festival outside of Miami, Florida. Now notice up there in Jimmy's hair, it says a joint production. Right, and, uh, and of course the suits or the old people didn't get it at the time, the, the drug reference there, but that was wordplay by no less than Michael Lang, who was a local there in Miami at the time, and all he did was of course organize the Woodstock Festival 15 months later. But this festival is considered the first, you know, large East Coast music festival, so it's got that nice historical cachet to it. Um, it was predated only by the Monterey Pop Festival out on the West Coast the year before. But you know this poster and its graphics, there's just so much to like about it. You've got his side men, of course, Noel Redding and Mitch Mitchell sharing one big orange and turquoise afro, you know, in the artwork. <laughs> That's really, it just looks cool. They're sort of swallowed up by it, um, at least the other two guys. And, you know, I just love that lettering, you know? It's such easy rolling lettering, just very friendly to the eyes. It's really a, a nice, it's different from like a Wes Wilson rolling lettering. It's just really a nice font. And uh, notice it says on the poster, the 1968 Pop Festival. It doesn't say the Miami Pop Festival because that came a few months later. And so that's, um, that was December of this year, the official Miami Pop Festival took place at the same location, Gulfstream Park, but that was three days long and had no Hendrix. So this is the, you know, 68 Miami, and the, in Miami, Pop Festival with Jimmy. And, uh, you know, it's funny, understandably, both events have just sort of like merged in the public's mind, and it's gotten down to even where a, a CD cover sometimes has the wrong reference to the live Hendrix music on there by calling it Miami Pop when it's not, so. But anyway, um, and that more fun elements to this poster, on Sunday, May 19th, the second day of the two-day fest here, it was rained out by a torrential thunderstorm, just completely washed out. You know, just everybody had to go home. And so what Jimmy did was write the song, Rainy Day, Dream Away, from his classic, later that year to be released, Electric Ladyland album. And no less than Jimmy's sound engineer, Eddie Kramer, who was with him pretty much every step of his recording career, remembers Jimmy, you know, they were driving away from the wet grounds on that Sunday in the backseat of the car together and Jimmy started writing this song, Rainy Day Dream Away. So that's about as good an evidence as you can get. So that's a nice cachet for this poster, a Ladyland song written about one of the dates on the poster. Just. Just really a sweet, fun piece, just amazing, you know. It's really, really, of course, you know, I'm enough of a Jimmy fan that, yes, I saw him in concert, but on the West Coast. But anyway, from the David Schwartz Concert Poster Collection, which takes place on Friday, April 12th. So to um, hear more about, you know, what else is in David's collection, just, and the whole weekend for that matter, of music memorabilia and concert posters, just visit ha.com slash 7363.